my uh, fiance's business a little bit and just helping her out. So she runs two, uh, she owns two high-end jewelry stores selling primarily like luxury engagement rings, um, you know, ranging from $3,000 up, but mostly higher end. These are local stores um, located in malls. So it's just so different from what I'm doing in e-commerce, right? And I'm kind of struggling to find a, a formula that's going to work for her. Um, the two things I've been experimenting with are doing just a straight up, just a lead gen conversions ad where we send people to the website, they can browse around, look at engagement rings, and then we track it if they've scheduled an appointment to come in. Um, and then the other one is just a traffic ad that's running traffic to the website based on a promotion and uh, gets a ton of clicks, but not a ton of conversions. So I'm just curious if you have any, uh, I guess, ideas for this space since it's so different from e-commerce. What is the goal here? So the goal is appointments uh, for a specific event that's happening in November. Okay, where do you book it? Uh, through their appointment form on their website currently. I did explore the built-in lead generation uh, appointment form for Facebook ads and it just didn't seem like it was gonna working very well. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Um, yeah. Go back to the appointment. So this is the appointment page for which event? How do I know it's an event? So the ads are an instance experience. Um, actually, I have it pulled up here. So this is just an example of one of the ads. Um, the big pull is they're one of the only local companies that's offering zero interest financing on rings. So obviously $79 weekly on a ball and ring gets attention. Instance experience clicks through to wow, that is good. this. Uh, the offer. Um, so yeah, and the instant experience basically just kind of describes the event and gives you some rings that you can look at. And then from there, it goes to book appointment, which clicks through to their just website form that they have to schedule an appointment. And what's the purpose of scheduling an appointment? Uh, just because of COVID, that's how all of the viewings during the events are happening. It's all appointment based to come in. Basically, you have a section of the store to yourself to try on all the rings and just lock in your financing. Okay, and is that a where in this ad? Uh, it's in the ad text. Basically, the, the call out is to book the appointment. Let's see if I can go back. Yeah, because if what you just told me makes sense, um, but if I'm just viewing the ad, I'd wanna make sure that that is also made clear to them. You might've told me, but is that being told to them where they're gonna get a you know a section of the store to come and you know look at it and see if it's the one? Right. Yeah. So okay. I would I mean, at that enjoy viewing the entire. So like you might want to peel that one up one more line to make sure that people are seeing it. Um, okay. And then is it an actual event? Or is it just uh, it's over a appointment? It's an appointment. It's it's over a period of of two weeks. So there's a. And it's, gotcha. it's a couple weeks in, in but the But it's future. not like an event where there's a lot of people. No, no, it's just. Okay, uh, so yeah, maybe switch it to, maybe switch up that headline for sure. And then whenever they click that book appointment, um, show me what the schedule appointment thing looks like again. I think your creative is fine. Um, and then. Yeah, maybe this schedule and appointment needs to be a little bit cleaner design here. So tell me what you think of this, because I was looking at the analytics on this and 80% of the clicks are coming from the women, which, you know, the women are going to give their guy a nudge. So I'm wondering if this form should allow them to send it to their, you know, their guys so that they can book. Um, just... Totally. That's 100% right. Yeah, because yeah. We're, it, this doesn't mention anything about the 79. You're exactly correct. Put that put that creative on this page as well. Because if they see that ad and then they're like, they go to this page and want to send it to them. Yeah, like no way. 
yeah, you should have that landing page look identical to what you have on your ad. You brought up such a valid point there. And then that way they can copy the link. And if they do send it, it's all of that same information is stated here. Right. So you're thinking like a custom appointment page for that event. This is just like a general appointment. Totally. Page. Yeah, you're exactly correct about the whole nudge thing. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, and as far as a, I guess, a, a goal for the campaign goes, is this a conversion goal for leads or is this a traffic goal to drive yeah. traffic to the conversion website? Conversion goal for leads for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, my, my only other... Experience. I would just make that instant experience on the actual page. Like, remove the instant experience, have it like a normal ad you would, and then like a book now button, and then like on the scheduled appointment page, make it look, you know, clean like the instant experience would be. Uh, interesting, okay. So, yeah, you are you not a fan of instant experiences in general? Not necessarily. Um, it's just that you want the ad to align with the actual landing page in a clean, concise way where they mimic each other. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I Because I had a feeling, I mean, we're getting like a 5% click through on these ads. So it's obviously something totally. that's wrong with the website, right? Yeah. So that's um, a disconnect. And my only other question is, I'm, I, I'm testing three different ads here. Um, this is one of them that I made that just kind of... Yeah, that. there's just nothing like wrong with these creatives. Me. I think they're phenomenal. But Facebook, for whatever reason, they it's not spending any money on this ad. It's only spending on the other two that I've made. And I actually think this is the winner. Change personally. it from, a, from event to propose now, pay later. I love that. That's perfect. The headline needs to be switched, the landing page needs to be tweaked, and this thing is just going to unleash on the amount of leads going through it. So you think this up here needs to be changed? Uh, headline, the Calgary event. Oh, at the bottom. Propose now, pay later. Propose now, pay later. Yeah, all of the great wow. stuff. I don't even see all of the magical great stuff you have until I actually make it to that page and see all these different things. I think you need to make this more upfront. Okay, so change the headline, direct them directly to the website. We'll design it like the instant experience, and that's pretty much it. Yep, watch um, things roll in from there. But how how come Facebook doesn't assign any budget towards this ad? Like it's two percent of the budget is going towards this ad. The rest is going to the other two for whatever reason. Yeah, it's doing that now. So go to that other ad that is going to in budget. Uh. So this one, which is, it's like a five second animation, right? So the other one's like 15 seconds. Um, yeah, there's this one, but then uh, I made a more complex one that's actually uh, footage from inside their store that it's also spending, it is spending on this one, which is longer. I think it's like a 30 second video. So it's just favored the two for, some strange reason. I'll show you this one. Yeah, we typically see this happen whenever somebody clicks like on one of the social media platforms, you'll see the budget directly start flowing that direction. Hmm. That's, yeah, that's so, beautiful. So is there any way to force Facebook or is it worth creating a campaign specifically to test that other creative that it's not spending on? Um, I wouldn't do that. I think if you just make the ads totally different from one another, that'll be a good solution. So you have different creatives, but you have the same copy. So if you change the headline on each and every one of these and then have the copy different for all of them, then the algorithm is going to be more inclined to test the other creatives. Hmm. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I will try that. This is really good. I will, uh, I'll give this a go and I will probably check back in. Yeah, sweet. Really cr close to making this one work. So it looks good so far. Yeah, we'll see. We got to get these Facebook ads working for both of our businesses and we'll be laughing. So yeah, thanks for nice. the help. All right. Thanks, Derek.